Hello family, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angela. Here on this channel, I create beauty, fashion, and lifestyle content, in particular for the woman over 40. Now, as a content creator, particularly a fashion and lifestyle content creator, I lot, I lot. <laughs> I watch a lot of the runway shows. I when I tell you I love watching those runway shows. And when I'm watching the runway shows, I'm just not watching for what's on trend, but I'm looking at everything. I'm looking at the big picture. I'm looking at fabrics. I'm looking at construction. I'm looking at silhouettes. I'm looking at texture. I'm looking at color. And I'm also looking at trend. And 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 I'm looking for pieces that make me go, oh my God. Ooh, I wish, I wish. I wish I had that, oh my God. Uh, if, if I have time, I'll put some of those looks at the end of the video. Anyway, I'm looking at the entire picture. And so I'm doing that so that when I create content, when I talk about fashion, when I create looks, I keep all that in mind. And when it came to this particular video, I was looking at the runway shows for what's gonna be on trend when it comes to color. And what I noticed was uh, there was no color trend this time. There was nothing like last year. Last year it was all, when I say it was all about the Versace, hot pink, every, every designer, every fashion house had something pink in their repertoire of fashion items. But this year it was every color. It was every color, it was every texture. There was nothing that really stood out as the color of the year. But I did notice there was some some similarities in a lot of the fashion houses when it came to color. When And those two colors, similar, similar colors were shades of brown and red. Like not together, but separate, but shades of brown and particularly rich, dark mocha. I, w I mean, it was beautiful to see. And I saw a lot of sets. I saw a lot of monochromatic looks. When I say monochromatic, I mean this shirt, the shorts or the skirt, the slacks or the jumpsuit and the boots, like the and everything the exact same color, including the purse and the, and the accessories. It was beautiful to see, but you know, we don't have that sort of money. Like that is not something that's really attainable for us. For well, I'm just gonna say for me. Let me just say for me, for the average person. But I, I thought about how can I recreate these looks and, and get that feel of that, that brown and get that feel of the red. Now the red is a little bit different. What I noticed when it came to red was I did see some red pieces, some beautiful red dresses, stunning red dresses. I thought they were just absolutely gorgeous. And I saw some slacks, but what I noticed more often than not were the red were the accessories like the purse or the boots or maybe the dress had a stripe of red in it or the coat had some red flowers on it or something red in it. It wasn't so much like the brown where the entire outfit was red all the time. With the brown, there were a lot of outfits with different shades of brown from rich mocha to winter white to tan to beige to coffee to chocolate. They were just stunning. And my favorite, my favorite designer with the browns was Mac Mara they hit the nail on the head and just are absolutely gorgeous looks. Like the, the, I think most of their looks were camel, the color camel. They were just beautiful. They had the design, the construction of the pieces. They were unique. They were well-crafted. You could tell they're well thought out. You could see that the fabrics were like, they looked like it was a lot of cashmere. It was a lot of cashmere going on. There was some furs, there were some leather, there were big belts, there were boots, there were tights. Max Mara hit the nail on the head. They did it better, in my opinion, than all the other fashion houses when it came to the shades of brown and chocolate and tan and camel. It was just amazing. And I mean, like most of the houses, like Versace had brown in there on their runway. Max Mara, of course, Saint Laurent, Gucci, Tory Burch, Fendi, Louis Vuitton, Hermes, like a lot of the major fashion houses had brown. And so my goal was to talk about that today and show you some of the pieces that I saw that I thought were amazing when it came to the fashion houses. And also some pieces that I've found for you guys that I could you could put together. So a lot of us don't like to, or not us, I, I would love a, a monochromatic brown suit but the, or a brown look. Suit would be fantastic. But most people are not gonna want to wear a full brown suit. So I, I feel like if you put brown pieces and tints or shades of brown into an outfit, it will look 
look amazing. It doesn't have to be brown. You can do the winter white with a, some chocolate chocolate slacks or a chocolate shirt with some winter white slacks or or maybe three or four shades or tints of brown on, which is gonna make the outfit look, look very, very interesting, especially if you can get some texture as well with those outfits. I think they will look amazing. So that's something that I think we all can do. It's a very neutral tone. Everyone can wear it. It's going to look good on the uh, lightest of skin tones to the most rich mocha skin tones. Those shades of brown are just going to look beautiful. And if you get the right cut, like a classic cut, and even if you get some trendy type pieces, they can be worn for an extended period of time, for a long, long period of time. So again, for the average person, the best way that we can recreate the looks with the browns and with the reds, we're gonna start with the browns first, is to buy pieces like you can get a sweater, whether you like a crew neck sweater or a v-neck sweater, and pair that with some brown pants or a brown skirt or some brown leather shorts or some faux leather pants or some faux leather shorts and or if you don't want to have those that brown or those colors close to your skin, you can do it with accessories. Brown boots are always easy to find. They're very easy to find. Whether it be a leather, whether it be a faux leather, or whether it be a suede boot, you can do booties, or you can do knee-high boots, or you can do over-the-knee boots, or you can do purses. Purses are easy. You can get those very inexpensive, budget-friendly, or you can go as high-end as you want. You're gonna be able to find some, some cream or winter white pieces or some dark rich chocolate pieces or some camel pieces if you don't want to wear that brown on your or those shades of brown on your person accessories are a great great way to introduce though that look that concept into your wardrobe and when it comes to red the same thing i found when i was looking around it was more challenging to find red pieces for my wardrobe. I do have a few red pieces, but I noticed when I went to go look, I don't have a lot. I did find more chocolate and brown and tan and cream and winter white pieces than I thought I had. But when I went to look for red pieces, I don't have a lot of red pieces in my wardrobe. So for red, I think it's a lot easier to find when, um, if I were looking for accessories. So with red, we can do, I'm sure there'll be some, because it's popular um way to find some red scarves or red blouse maybe a red clutch or red purse some red boots yeah, every year there are some red booties or some red knee-high boots that come out like paris texas used to have beautiful red boots those are going to be very expensive though i'm just going to tell you unless you catch them on sale they're going to be expensive but i have a couple of red purses i think i have a wicker red purse and then i have a, a red coach purse that my um, I think Shadia bought that for me. But if you want to introduce those two colors in your wardrobe and you don't want that, that red, especially red people, red is kind of polarizing a lot of times. But if that is not for you, then, but you like the color, but you just don't, you just don't feel it when you're wearing it. My recommendation is get you a purse or get you a red boot. Is, 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 it says a lot. It's, she's speaking loud. She says, I'm here, I'm, I'm ready. Um, so most people are not going to be really comfortable with a red boot, but you could always do a red purse. A red purse with a cream suit is going to look amazing. Red and brown or red and tan look beautiful together as well. So you can even mix and mix the two colors together. Shades or tints of brown with red look beautiful on everyone. So if that is the look you want to be on trend or you want to look um, like the runway ladies, then that is a way you can introduce those colors into your wardrobe. So this is my outfit of the day and this is my first example of how you can pick some browns and some creams or winter whites to create a similar look to the looks that are on the runway. So my purse is a vintage Fendi, so it has dark brown and a lighter brown in it, so it has shades and tints of brown. This sweater vest shirt was from, I think I got this from Banana Republic last year. So it's really nice. It's sleeveless, but it's warm and it has texture across the front. So it's gonna make my outfit automatically look very interesting. These pants are from Zara from a few years ago. And my shoes are, are, are red bottoms and they're dark chocolate like I am. And I bought these because I have been looking and looking and looking for some nude, my color nude shoes for a long time, some heels. And I've been having a very, very difficult time finding some dark brown pointed toe heels that are close to my skin tone. And these were the first ones I found. So 
I, I saw these online. I knew I was going to get them and I love them. I can wear these with any color in the rainbow and they're just going to look amazing because they're my color nude. So this is a perfect way that you can create some brown and shades and tints of brown outfit for winter. Now I could mix this up and make this a more budget friendly look and I'll show you how I can do that. Okay, I'll take off that purse, take off these shoes here, here, okay, here we go. Now these shoes are from Mark Fisher and I think they were right at $100, some of the most comfortable heels I own and here they are and they're in this animal print and I love them. I have these in I think three different colors. I like them that much. So it's, even though it's an animal print, the animal print is shades of brown. Come on now. There you go. So it still flows very well. This purse is from Amazon. It, it's a Bottega dupe. And so this is the look. So this look is a lot. <laughs> And I see a lot cheaper, a lot cheaper than the last look, but it still works. I still have texture. I have still have different shades of brown. I have a print and it just flows and works very, very well. So just look throughout your closet, see what you have. Like today I took all of my cream and my brown tops and my cream and brown bottoms and I put them on the rack together and I had quite a few pieces. So that's my recommendation, put them all together and then you'll be able to pick out outfits from those pieces that you have. That's the look you're going for. So this is the next look of how you can create shades of brown outfits. These pants I purchased from Suzanne probably a year and a half, two years ago. As far as quality, they are my number one. They are my favorite brand to buy slacks from. Are they expensive? Uh, yes, they are. About 200, 20, 200, 150 and $250 a pair. But quality, hands down, my favorite that I've ever purchased. All, every pair that I've purchased from them. Um, and I like the ones with the big cuff on the bottom. I had these hem because I'm short, um, but I had them to put the cuff back in it. I love these pants. This shirt is from Banana Republic. I think I bought this last year. Again, the purse is from Amazon. So this is a perfect high-low mix. I have on the cheetah print heels again from Mark Fisher. And it's just a great way to create that look without complication. This is very easy. You go with the color scheme. I want some uh, the color scheme is going to be brown or shades of brown. So I just went in there. I pulled these these off white winter white pants. These are definitely a winter white, but that can be they can be worn year round. This top is a beautiful basic. If you see tops like this, it has a little cow neck up front. It's a satin shirt. It didn't have any sleeves, but it's perfect. I wish I had this particular shirt in every color. It's easy. Don't have to think about it. It has no print, so it's gonna go well with any outfit that I choose to put with it. And again, this purse is from Amazon. I think it came in probably 10 different colors. I have it in this color. I don't think I have another one though, but I wouldn't mind getting another one. It's faux leather, of course, very inexpensive, but this is the look. So I have the color scheme. I have a little print on my foot, but the look I was going for is this look exactly. So this is the last look. This shirt I've had for quite, this sweater I've had for quite some time. I think it's from Aster the Label. I just love the little ruffle details on, on the sweater. I love the color. I thought it was very interesting. These pants are from Express. I think when I got these pants, I told you all, you need to get these pants. So I have them in several colors. They fit perfectly and they have pockets, so they're very comfortable. The bag is from Brandon Blackwood. I bought this, I think, year before last. It is a real shearling, very, well, I'll say affordable because um, it's relative, but I think this purse was maybe $350 and it's real shearling. So I thought it was really fantastic. So this is the look. These pants are camo, but it's still in the shade of brown. I have on the same cheetah print heels and this chocolate. So these are several shades and prints of brown going on. So it makes the outfit look very interesting. And this is definitely something you can pull off if you like the look. Now, stay tuned. I've found some pieces that maybe you all would love. I've put them on a, um, where you can look at them, see if there's something you like like I did in one of my previous videos, you all said that you like that. 
And then I think at the very end, I'll just uh, have pictures of pieces that I saw on the runway that I found that were just stunning to me that I would love, love to have. Now, thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye. Thank you.